Hi, this is Little Dwarf playing games while rambling incoherently into a microphone. Why? Well, just because I can, and I continue with Arcanum of Steamworks and Magic Obscura Blind. I'm still in Tarant, but I've almost finished uh, exploring the city. I have only the sewers and Gilbert, Gilbert, Gilbert Bates estate to sightsee, so let's go into the sewers. Because I've acquired a quest to find someone's uh, wedding ring in the sewers, so let's try doing that. I guess I should loot all of the monsters because one of them might have swallowed it or something. Oh, a fancy ring. Hmm, where is it? Is this it? I guess I will learn that when I leave. Now I have leveled up. Unfortunately, my charisma is lowered because of a curse. Uh, so I will have to... Uh, put some more points into that if I ever want to have three followers, and I do, but for now, I think I'll put a point into Persuasion. Mm. Yeah. Mm, okay, so there is that. As for Virgil, I think he can put a point into Willpower and Magnus. Mm, I believe I want to put a point into Dexterity to upgrade his melee skills. He's quite good in melee, well, at least compared to Jaina's tiles. locked. point where it is in the sewer, I am warranted to take it as lost and it no longer counts as stealing. Like if you, if you, although that's an interesting, like in a real world, I do very much believe that, uh, that it is illegal to take somebody's trash. Uh, at least uh, if, like, I guess that it is dependent on whether the actual container is locked, because if it is, and you break the lock, it's supposed to, like, it counts as a break-in, right? But I guess maybe if it isn't, like, it is trash. So what are, what are, what are they going to do? Sue you for taking something they threw away? Like, if you throw something away, it's implicitly uh, saying that you no longer care about what happens to it. So mm, I guess that's an interesting, uh, you know, Interesting legal conundrum. Mm. Some thieves, uh, but they attack—they attacked me on sight. So, I—I ha I was hoping for a conversation, but I guess they got startled. Mm, worn boots, damage resistance 3, 
and identified staff. Okay, I definitely need to do some shopping, like throw away a bunch of this this stuff, or sell it or something, because I'm getting bogged down in all of this. I guess for now, I can give all of this to Virgil. Okay. An unidentified staff, which might be a good weapon for Virgil himself. Uh, and the, wor the worn boots are better than the ones I'm currently using, so I'll take those and give those to Magnus because I believe he has none. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, there are two barrels as well. Uh, Leather gloves, hammer, hmm. Okay, those are those might be worth something. So I will give the gloves to Virgil. Oh, he has no space. So I guess they will go to Magnus for now. Because I, I believe he's, he's going to equip them right away, right? Ah, no, because he has the Dwarven Gauntlets. Oh, well. Yeah, I definitely need to do some shopping, because this is getting ridiculous. Okay. Hmm. Maybe I will do it uh, off the recording, or at least speed it up, because it's going to be a little bit tedious, uh, running around trying to sell all, all those things. Passage here. Does it go top side already or? Uh, yes. Hmm. Okay, let me go back down. Because I wonder if there's a way to get to the. Uh, to the. Uh, what's the word? To the locked off section of the sewers? Mm, let me take a look at the map. Okay, there's still a path that goes here and here, so... Let's run there. Wait. Okay, so this is the, the locked door then. What about... What about this? Hmm, okay, so this leads nowhere. I guess... There is no way to... To progress to, to, the, to the locked off section, at least none that I can see. Unless I can... Pick the lock. I will handle that for you, sir. Uh. Mm. Nope. 
Hmm. Okay, I guess... I guess I'm leaving then. Because this is the locked door. And that's it. As far as the sewers are concerned. Because this is a dead end, right? Yeah, there's even a ladder here. Well, I guess I at, at the very least return the ring to the guy, topside. Uh, hello, Matthew. Have, a, have you a moment? Of course. I found your ring. You give it to him. Wonderful. Here's your money. You've really done me a favor. Looks like I won't be sleeping on the porch. Goodbye. Okay. Mm, tavern. Tavern Telegraph. Okay, so I think I'm ready to go and talk to Gilbert Bates. Geoffrey's Gears and Gadgetry. Nah, it's locked because it's it's night. I wonder if I will, will be let into the Bates estate at this hour. Well, let's go and try. Come back in the morning. Okay. Mm, I do not know you, dwarf, nor do I want to. Whose house might this be? Gilbert Bates, Bates the industrialist, lives here. I have a matter of utmost importance to discuss with Mr. Bates. Uh, and the matter would be, I have a ring that used to belong to Mr. Bates. You and every other assassin or lunatic who comes around here, move along. How can I get to see him then? It's not possible. Mr. Bates sees no one, especially now, with the recent attempt on his life. Attempt on his life? Mr. Bates was attacked in his study by some fanatic. Thanks God Chaka was there to snap the intruder's neck before he could do any harm. Uh, Chaka? Chaka is Mr. Bates' bodyguard. Mr. Bates saved, saved his life somehow years ago. Chaka has been at his side ever since. Uh, nevertheless, it is imperative that I, that I see him. Well, we've been having some problems with saboteurs at the factory. If you could take care of them, I'm sure Mr. Bates would like to thank you personally. Uh, you've piqued my interest. What else could you tell me? Not much, really. They usually strike in the middle of the night, sometime after midnight. We've lost several guards. We've sent uh, to stop them. Mm. Hmm. If your guards can stop them, what chance would I have? Uh, not much of, what I, of one, I am afraid. You asked how to get to see Mr. Bates, and I told you. If you're not interested, please leave. I will take care of your problem, then. <laughs> Good luck. The factory is located at the tail of the Ten Hands Alley. Here is the key. The guards will be expecting you. Come here when you've dispatched them, and I will let you in to see Mr. Bates. Farewell. Okay, so... I... I... Mm, I guess I'm supposed to break the the workers' strike, uh, like to to d dismantle the, their attempts uh, at at a strike, which I don't feel particularly great about. I would rather hear their demands and maybe try to settle some kind of an agreement uh, between uh, Bates and the workers, because obviously uh, it seems you know Arcanum is currently undergoing uh, is currently undergoing the un the industrial revolution. And uh, the um, and and it, it very much bears the 
the resemblance of like you know early stage uh, industrial revolution unrestricted capitalism what with uh, people being paid is basically what is a slave wage to work at a factory for 18 hours a day or something uh, so I I feel like that's uh, rather unreasonable and kind of sad so I would uh, prefer to settle some kind of an agreement if I can mm, Bates factory guard and uh, what is this place this is the Bates engine factory I am here to solve to help with the saboteur problem go on in then okay what do you have to yes what is it I'm here to stop the saboteurs good we've got the front rooms covered you take the factory floor back there. Is there anything I should know to help me? Just be alert. We have, we have no idea how they are getting inside. One might almost think they were using magic, but, but it would be either need to be extremely foolish or possess extreme intestinal fortitude. Yeah, because it's a, it's a technological, it's a um, place of concentrated technological aptitude, right? So it's adverse to magic. Why would you say that? There's quite a bit of machinery around here to be attempting to use magic to get inside. Uh, they could end up inside a wall or some such nonsense. At any rate, the factory floor is all yours. If you encounter the saboteurs and can't, can't take care of them yourself, try to lead them out here and we'll help you, we'll help you with them. Uh, will do. I would prefer to avoid bloodshed if I can. some locked barrels mm -hmm. those are the engines hmm I believe uh, the guard at Bates estate said that the saboteurs show up at night mm, during midnight so let's wait the evening and then four hours more Uh, they just straight up attack me, so I guess that solves my ethical quandaries of whether I would try to negotiate with them, because I can't. Uh, they, they simply straight up attacked me, so there is that. Mm, they have nothing on them. Mm, but I believe that is supposedly everything. Thank you for helping us kill those cretins. Okay. So I should be able to go and talk with Bates now. Unless I have to yeah, I probably have to wait until the morning. Hello, what is it? I have removed the saboteurs that have been plaguing you. Thank the gods. I thought we would never be, get ri be rid of them. Please go inside. Mr. Bates will be anxious to thank you. You have my gratitude. Mm, his, his estate looks very similar, similar to the castle in Dernholm. no time for those of your race. That's a servant. More servants, more guards. Kitchen. That's a bedroom. It's 
some kind of a, some kind of storage. I'm probably not allowed in here. But there is a trap door. Hmm. Okay, I will talk with him first because I would rather not antagonize him too much. Uh, you know, before I even meet him. I guess he's upstairs. I guess this is him, Gilbert Bates, and this is his bodyguard, Chaka. Uh, okay, let's talk with the bodyguard first. This extremely large ogre grunts at you without shifting his heavily the gaze. Huh. Okay, so... Allow me to introduce myself. I am Gilbert Bates, as I'm sure you have surmised. I'd like to extend my thanks to you, sir, for putting an end to the difficulties at my factory. I've been informed that there is a matter you wish to discuss. Actually, I will ask him about the attempt on his life first, because I might be able to help solve that as well. Uh, what can you tell me about the recent attempt on your life? There's not much, really, as Chucker is given to overzealousness in his protection of my person. He rendered the interloper lifeless before I could question him. All he had on his person was an amulet bearing the symbol of the Malokian hand. The eye in the hexagram. Wait, 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 wait. Isn't the eye in the hexagram the symbol that I picked up from one of the aeroplanes that attacked the Zeppelin? And the Molochian hand has tried to kill me as well uh, in the tavern. The Molochian hand? They were a religious order of assassins some 500 years ago. Rumors of their continued existence surface periodically, but are usually proven to be hoaxes. I figure this for a new group trying to adopt some of the prestige of the name. Uh, they seem to be after me as well. Let us hope for both our sakes that they are mere pretenders to the name, then. I would be loath to have the authentic Malokians out for my blood. Well, I'd like to ask you about this ring. Great gods! How did you come by that ring? A strange-looking gnome gave it to me as he lay dying. Strange? Whatever do you mean, pray tell? What? That is ridiculously racist. Like, what does it, what does it even mean? Gnomes have those beady eyes. I don't really want to say that, but I don't don't have a choice. Uh, but his were strong, dwarf-like. Are you sure it wasn't a dwarf then? No beard. We would have sooner slit our throats than cut our beards. But, but wait, 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 he was in captivity, right? So maybe he was forcibly shaven as part of the torture? Yes, I, I am familiar with the dwarves and their customs. Tell me, was there anything distinctive about this fellow? He had a scar over his left eye. By Alberic, I knew it in my heart. That was no gnome. It was Stena Rockcutter. Uh, oh, he, he invoked the name of Alberich, the, the dwarven god of stone. B but I guess I was correct. He must have been uh, shaven as part of the torture, right? Which is actually kind of ingenious because... Uh, like ingenious. Ingenious in a way of, of setup because it's a, it's a big old switcheroo. You've been on this quest looking, uh, you know, thinking that it was, it was a gnome, but it was a dwarf this whole time. Uh, just a scrawny looking one because he was probably famished from being imprisoned and he has be his beard shaven so you wouldn't ever thought it was a dwarf because uh, you associate beards with dwarves and they are sacred to them uh, almost like uh, a dwarf would have never done that willingly. Uh, who's Stenner? A dwarf who would never cut his beard. Stenner was an old friend of mine but for him to cut off his beard by the gods, it's unthinkable! But please tell me, did he say anything to you before he died? Did he say anything about... about me? He said he has escaped to warn us about the, the evil. The evil? What evil? And where did he escape from? 
he didn't say. I was hoping you would know what it meant. Something horrible must have happened after I... After I... Did he say anything else? Huh. He referred to you as a boy. Why would he do that? Well, presumably because Gilbert, Gilbert Bates is a human, and if that, that one was a dwarf, uh, Preston Radcliffe, then obviously he might have known Gilbert Bates ever since Gilbert was a boy. I do not know. Even though dwarves reckon time differently than humans, he must have realized that I am now an old man. Perhaps it is because I was but a boy when I... when I betrayed his trust all those years ago. How did you come to betray him? That... that is quite the long tale. A tale of my shame, it is. Mm, I'm listening. It is ironic that my greatest mistake is that which brought me such wealth. As a youth, I was enamored of all things dwarven. So I sought out the nearest clan and attempted to impress them with my grasp of their technology. They laughed. It was obviously a novelty to them. A ridiculous human who had a natural bent towards technology. I suppose it didn't help that I was a mere 14 years old at the time. I became something they humored to entertain themselves. Stenar was the only one who truly called me friend in all those years. And betrayal is how I repaid his friendship. It was he who first showed me their steam engine as he knew I could appreciate the beautiful intricacies of its design. Ah, so Gilbert Bates stole the idea of the steam engine from the dwarves and then presented it as his own idea and became uh, you know, this, this uh, wealthy, powerful man because of it. They had left it to rust in a corner, as they had very little use for the device that would reduce the need for sheer physical power. Ha! Imagine a dwarf relying on a device to do his digging for him. It's preposterous. Okay, that's, that's a very interesting mm, cultural thing there, because apparently dwarves uh, revere uh, physical effort, so they discovered the steam engine, but then decided it's pointless because it lowers the need for manual labor, and they uh, see manual labor as more, th more worthwhile because it requires effort, uh, which is like, mm, which is honorable to them. So, so that's ridiculous. And they they left it in the corner to to rot, to rot and rust. And then this this Gilbert Bates he noticed it and he stole the idea for himself. That's quite a tale. I asked him if I could tinker with it, perhaps improve on it, as I knew this was the key to becoming truly a part of the dwarven world. I quickly devised a way to use it to power a pump for draining the mines. When I fell all over myself trying to explain it to them, laughter was once again their only response. I knew I had to somehow gain their respect, so I hastily sketched some schematics and set out to prove my theory. The struggling human mining company that I brought the plans to offered me a share in their mines for the steam pump. I was ecstatic. I had not a care for their mines or their money. I desired vindication. When I returned to the dwarves to boast of my accomplishments and be welcomed into their clan, they were gone. The inventions came quickly after that, fueled by my anger and confusion. How could they have denied me my place amongst them after all my labors? Somehow I felt I could still prove myself to them. I continued searching for them in all my spare moments, but to no avail. But then they came. The robed ones. Hmm. Does he mean the Shilers? They appeared to me late one night, and they warned me to never speak of nor try to find the dwarves again. Still being a mere lad, you can imagine the terror that put into me. As my wealth and power grew, I shook off some of my youthful fear and hired the first in a long chain of investigators to locate Stenar and his clan. None of them ever returned with any worthwhile information. 
and some never returned at all. The ones that did told of vicious traps and creatures attacking them from the shadows. As word of these failures spread, it became more and more difficult to find souls brave enough to take on the challenge. But why did he send me here with your ring? He knew that ring would lend veracity to your tale. I gave Stenner that ring the last time I saw him. Now he is dead. If only we knew what he meant by the evil. The Panari think that the evil refers to someone named Aronax. I don't put much stock in religious ramblings. I'm more concerned with who killed Stenna and why, and what all this has to do with my relationship with the Black Mountain Clan. So what is it to be done now? There must be some clue left in the Black Mountain Mines. I am certain of this. You seem to be a resourceful individual. Would you be interested in searching the mines for some clue as to their whereabouts? I would make it worth your while, I can assure you. I'd like to ask you some further questions before I commit myself. Of course. What do you wish to ask of me? So you didn't actually invent the steam engine? I have never actually claimed that I did. Oh. It was just hmm. people's assumption. Interesting. I have invented any number of devices based off its principles, but I did not invent the first one. Uh, but still, I guess it's... It is a little dishon dishonest still, because, uh, right, uh, uh, he says he doesn't he didn't claim he, he made it, but that's the assumption everyone would have made, right? And he didn't correct them. Uh, is that not dishonest, taking credit for something you didn't do? Yes, it is, and it torments me every day. I was but a child when the robed ones gave me their dire warnings, and I was terrified. They were explicit that I was not to reveal the origins of the steam engine. Oh, okay. I, I guess that, that explains him a little bit. He was threatened, uh, presumably with horrible fate, when he was still a child. Uh, I can understand how that would intimidate him. Can I ask you other questions? Of course. What do you wish to ask of me? Uh, why the need to impress the dwarves after they rejected you? You don't understand. I was... I was orphaned at a young age. The dwarves represented everything I wanted my family to be. A tight-knit clan, and the respect I had for their brilliance with technology. I made the mistake common to youth. I thought intelligence equaled compassion. I needed to belong to find that I had some worth. You were orphaned? What happened? My mother died bringing me into this world. I believe my father died then as well, even though he continued to exist in the world for some eight more years. When he could stand living no longer, he took his own life. Mm, abandoning you like that. He left me decently provided for, and with his grasp on reality becoming more tenuous each day, I believe he felt I would be safer in the care of others. The last thing he did in this life was to give me that ring. And then you gave it to Stenner? That is how much his friendship meant to me. I was devastated when he disappeared with the rest of the clan. I believe I felt more deserted and alone then than I did when my father killed himself. Do you have time for more questions? Of course. What do you wish to ask of me? Uh, what can you tell me of the recent attempt on your life? There's not much, really. As okay. Chuckos, so they were a religious or this... Let us hope for both our sakes that they are mere pretenders to the name, then. I would be loath to have the authentic Malokians out for my blood. So this repeats. Why do you suppose they tried to kill us? I do not know. But I am beginning to believe they are behind Stenna's death. This all seems to be pointing to my involvement with the Black Mountain Clan, doesn't it? That is why I feel it is imperative to find out their fate. Um, more... Our lives seem to be dependent on it, in fact. More questions? Of course. What do you wish to ask of me? Can you tell me about your business? Well, as you know, I am the foremost manufacturer of steam engines in Arcanum. Virtually without competition. I am working on a prototype for a smaller, more efficient engine right now, as a matter of fact. 
I also have various interests in other technological endeavors. Uh, how have you devastated your competition, so? It is not much of an accomplishment when old Cedric Appleby is your chief competitor. Poor Cedric. Always was a bit of a blundering fool. I really wish I could have convinced him to come work for me. Why? I mean, if he's such an idiot. Cedric and I were close friends when we were children. He was furious that I wouldn't introduce him to the dwarves. Can you imagine? I had a difficult enough time gaining their respect without his simple-mindedness. After I invented the steam engine, he began to despise me. Strangely enough, I wish he was still my friend some days. Mm, do we have time for more questions? Of course. What do you wish to ask of me? Okay, I guess that's all. I've decided to explore the Black Mountain clan mines for you. Splendid! Here, let me mark your map with the location of the Black Mountain Mines. I am certain there must be some clues to be found there. Please, return as soon as you have found anything. Mm, I shall return with the information you have requested. Oh, uh, one more thing. I would like to purchase my ring back from you. I'd give you 200 coins. It would mean quite a bit to me. My father gave it to me before he died. Sure, I believe it. It very much uh, like I believe it. It is true that it is his, and presumably the dying dwarf Stenner. Although, wait, was his name Stenner? I could have sworn his name was Radcliffe Preston or something. Uh, but I guess he might have used might have been using a fake one because he was escaping. He was uh, evading. Uh, pursued, presumably, uh, from his from his torture. So sure, I can sell it back to him. I believe this is the end of this trail I was following anyway, so might as well get some gold for that. Certainly, here it is. Much obliged. I will speak with you when you return. And uh, good day. Okay, but I still want to uh, investigate his basement, because it seems rather suspicious to me. What with the tunnels and the, and the tombs or whatever. Oh, it's locked. Hmm. What is it that you want of me? Wait, it said. Lock successfully picked, but I guess then I clicked another time and I jammed it, which is annoying. But oh well, I guess I have to live with that for now. Because I, I don't know if there's a way to break the door. I can't attack it. Hmm. Oh well, I'm not going to cry over that. I'm not going to cry too hard over that. Hopefully when I return, maybe maybe the door will be unstuck and I will be able to explore it once more. Mm. But before I uh, go to search for the Black Mountain Clan, I still want to uh, check out the slums in Tarant. And also, maybe do some shopping. Mm, that's the museum. Mm, gears and gadgetry. Okay, I don't think he's buying any of those. As I said, it would have been easier if if it highlighted. Okay, I'm not selling the ruby. If it highlighted the items 
I can sell to a particular merchant. Mm. I can sell one of those. Mm, what else? Liquid soap. Hm, I have a lot of keys. They are also starting to take quite a lot of space in my inventory, uh, comparatively speaking. Okay, there's a tavern. There's a tailor. I do believe I have a set of robes uh, from Virgil. So maybe I could sell them here. Mm, okay. Uh, sure. Magic robes, 7,000 gold. It's quite a lot. Perfume, medallions, boots, top hat. It, it does nothing. Mm, heavy rags. Okay, don't want any of those. Mm, general store. What does he have to sell? Uh, Earl Grey tea. Huh, I believe the the the, or the orc at the at the museum is a fan, so I guess I can buy it. Maybe I can offer him some uh, later on. It's it's not expensive. Mm, what else? I don't want to sell the lantern because I might be able to use it. Uh, Can I sell to him? Salt pepper, I believe. It's probably used for making explosives, which I don't believe I'm going to do anytime soon. Migraine cure, I'm going to sell two of those. Uh, fatigue restorer, uh, rag, charcoal, healing self. Oh, this is actually useful. I should probably use that one of those days. Mm, what else I can sell? Uh, maybe I can buy something. Worn boots, that's the one ones I'm using right now. Ladies' boots. A lantern. Uh, glyceride, glyceride. Keering. Oh! This could be useful. If it stores all of my keys on just two slots, then I would already save like four. So let me buy it. Yeah, key six. Great. Great, that's, that's pretty useful. I'm glad that I bought that. Uh, what else can I sell? He, he sells bullets, so maybe he will buy the arrows as well. Uh, and maybe the the pistol. Or maybe, maybe, maybe the wine. Okay, four coins for that. Um, five coins for that. No need for that. Hmm. This might be a quest item for later. I took it from the Bessie Toon mine. Uh, okay, what else? I don't think he has anything to sell, so what about you, Magnus? Uh, you have a bunch of ore, you have this, oh, this I can probably sell to the tailor, right? And still have a staff. Mm, 
41 coins. Uh, armor class 3, damage resistance 3. FR, fire resistance maybe? How does it compare to what Virgil is wearing currently? No, oh, no, 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 this is definitely better. Armor class 9 plus 5, damage resistance. Okay, so I think I can sell that. It's not buying the staffs. Oh, he can buy this, but I'm not selling this until I have identified it, because maybe Virgil can actually use it. Mm, okay, let me continue onwards uh, towards the slums. I'm still happy with the purchase of the keyring. It has given me a few, a few, you know, additional spaces in my um, inventory. Uh, excuse me, I need to pause for a second. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. I really can't catch a break today. Uh, but I still have around 15 minutes left in this episode, so I think I'm going to try and explore the slums over here. If you enter the boil, you are doing so at your own risk. Do not, do not expect any help. Oh, you think you can just waltz into the boil and they straight up kill me? So I guess I, I'm still too weak to actually survive in there. I cannot help you. If you enter the boil, you are doing so at your own risk. I think I don't really have a chance with them for now. Yeah, this is pointless. So you know what? I'm just going to leave. Uh, now, what do we have to do? Uh, quests. Oh, survivor of the, uh, reputation as a survivor of the crash of the IFS Zephyr. Since telling your story to the Tarantian, it seems some people have begun to recognize you, for better or for worse. Where? Well, I'll not be able to hide from the assassins now. Um. Hmm, interesting. So apparently the dwarven undead I killed were still good. Arm crippled by yourself? Self-inflicted. How did that happen? Did, did the dynamite at the bridge uh, cripple my arm? And is it fixed? It is. I can, I can equip a lantern. Uh, I'm not sure what does it give me outside of just uh, aesthetics of better light sources, but maybe it increases my chance to hit in dark areas or something? Uh, anyway. I wanted to see what kinds of quests do I have to return. Ah, right. Uh, Percival Toon wants me to free, free the ghost of his mother, uh, which I first need to uh, give Sarah Toon the deed to the mine. Because I believe I am going to side with her. She's at Dernholm. And I maybe now that Magnus has joined me, I will be strong enough to close the portal. Mm. Search the mines of the Black Mountain Clan. Okay, so I think I'm going to circle around the map a little bit, uh, finish the quests that I have in Dernholm and in Blackroot, uh, and then where where are the Black Mountain mines? Okay, right here, the Lair of Belarogrim. It was mentioned in the in the muse in the zoological society. It was the largest dragon. Uh, uh, well, actually, not not, necessar not necessarily the largest, but a cave where they discovered Arcanum's last dragon. So I am going to visit that as well. But for now, uh, let me go back to uh, Dernholm. Uh, path path is blocked. Okay, so I need to plot my path uh, part by part by part. Mm, okay, Dernholm. And I will return the deed to uh, Sarah. Mm. 
and then it looks like the end for you, no one escapes the Molochian hand. It would have been better for you if no one had survived the crash of the Zephyr. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. If you're going to try and weasel your way out of this, uh, like a coward you are, perhaps you shouldn't have, uh, b uh, perhaps you shouldn't have run your mouth off to the newspapers, eh? Blim crash survivor? Well, I guess there's no point in trying to deny that now. I was trying to spare you a painful death at my hand, idiot. Death to all who are marked by the Molochian hand. Okay, he left me three gold pieces. That's a gen generous offering, if I ever saw one. Uh, so I'll deal with the mine situation uh, by freeing the ghost after I... Because I, I assume once I return the ownership of the mine to the family, uh, the ghost uh, will be laid to rest. Seriously hurt, sir. Please help me. Uh, so I will have to go to Shrouded Hills as well to deal. Hold on, wait. Yeah, 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 the mine is in Shrouded Hills. I was uh, confused there for a second, but I remembered that is indeed correct. And then I will try to solve the quest with the workshop because maybe now that Magnus is with me, I will be strong enough to actually mm, survive find fighting the monsters because Magnus is uh, significantly better at combat uh, compared to uh, compared to Jaina. Mm. So I do believe Sarah lives somewhere around here. Ah, that's Gladys. I believe Sarah lives over here somewhere. Uh, Sarah Toon. Hello, how are you today? I brought you the deed to the mine. Give her the deed. Oh, thank you. This is great news. I can't thank you enough. She looks at the deed for a moment and suddenly seems to remember something. Wait, there is something I can give you. I don't think it's worth much of anything. I never had it identified, but I know at least it's magical. She hands over a sword. Thank you. Mm, okay. Unidentified sword. Maybe Virgil can use it? It's pretty quick, and it's magical as well, so it will work for him. Uh, it seems I've gained a level from that. What do I want to train? I don't think I can have persuasion anymore. Huh. Yeah, I feel like I need to get to 12 uh, charisma again, because of the curse. Mm, so there is that. Well, n not that I need, I want to, because I want maximum followers to be at 3, at the very least. Maybe even more, but maybe I'll find some items that actually help with that. Uh, okay, and as for you, Magnus, uh, you can upgrade your melee now, which will make you better in combat. Uh, okay, and I'm uh, pretty much done in Zernholm, so... Mm, I wonder if the quest with the ghost is automatically solved, or...? Hmm. A completed Percival Toon wants you to find a way to free the ghost of his mother. So I guess the boot was pointless after all. Could have sold it to Reese's. In Shrouded Hills, because the quest is already solved, so I, I, I gather there's no point for me to return to Shrouded Hills for now. Uh, let me go here. 
I will go to the wolf cave because I think I should be strong enough to deal with the remaining wolves now that I have Magnus with me. And it's on my way. Mm, broken flintlock pistol. Hopefully I can defeat them now. Let me back down a little, a little and save. Because the last time, if you remember, I saved in a really unfortunate spot uh, in which f the fight was no longer avoidable. Okay, this is certainly doable. Mm, it's just that Virgil needs to keep a little bit back. Okay, it's me who has died this time. But it should be doable. Now that I'm here, I want to do it just to be done with it. Okay, and now let's search the barrels over here. Uh, unidentified medallion, okay, that's cool. Liquid of skin thickening. And a lot of gold, actually, 500. So it was certainly worth it just for that. Uh, I will take the ore, Spirit of Camphor. I believe those are questy, I mean, uh, crafting materials. Small uh, electrical parts. Sure. Why not? I will leave the broken flintlock pistol. It's quite uh, heavy and I was, wasn't able to sell it to anyone. Uh, what about this corpse? Uh, boots. Damage resistance plus five. That's cool. Because those are better than my current ones. So I can give those to uh, Magnus. Why doesn't he want to wear, wear them? They are better than his current ones, so... Hmm. A rusty sword. Okay, but what about the boots? Hmm. Ah, okay. He switched them, and three gold. Okay, it was it was rather uh, worthwhile to go back in here. Um, I got an amulet out of this, mm. and I'll continue to black root uh, because uh, because what? Because I want to deal with the portal right uh, at Li at Liam's workshop. So, I still have the magical trap. I'll put it at number six. Or seven. Um, never mind. Now, last time I did follow the road, right? I'm pretty sure of that. And it winds up this way, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and this is the body of Liam himself, so the portal should not be far... Okay, 
but I do believe this episode was on long enough, so I'm going to save it and try uh, destroying the portal next time. For now, that's all for this one, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!